So we've been driving all day. Um, I think it's been about 10 hours or something, but it's been a pretty boring drive, so we haven't filmed anything, but come to the Queensland border now. Got our, got our boarding passes, because they're pretty much ready to lock us out in the next couple <laughs> of days over this coronavirus thing, so because we're not from a hot spot in New South Wales, they're going to let us through, well, hopefully. Um, and we can go do a couple of weeks traveling and filming and get some content going. So we'll see how this goes. Oh, I've got no ears. Oh, there they are. <laughs> Do you want them? Oh. Uh, New South Wales. Oh, obviously. Um, Mary. Mary? Yeah, like South Coast. South Coast? Yeah. Have you been in Coast Nah. No. Just jump in the left lane, guys, and just have a chat from down the bottom. Yeah, righty. All the way to the bottom of that. Oh, no. No, it should be sweet. He looked like Shannon Noll. <laughs> Don't you reckon? Um, Barry, like South Coast. Have you been sitting here the last two weeks? No. Nah. Can I just see John's last place? Yeah. Cheers, mate. Thank you. All good. I take it you haven't been to Victoria either? No. Nah. All good? Yeah. Cheers. Thank you. Have a good day. Thanks, mate. You too. We're through! <laughs> yes. Oh, f yeah. We've done it! Alright, we made it through the border. <laughs> it's been a big day. We left at like 3 a.m. this morning. And it is 3 in the Arvo, so we've been driving for quite a while, but we're ready to pull up. We only got like another hour left. Stopping at a mate's place for the night, and then another like 20 hour drive from here, so not quite there but we're in the state so if they lock us out then it doesn't really matter because we're locked in so we had to bail and get up here while we could so we'll see how we go. Seventeen degrees. <laughs> Just down here with a mate. Where? Um. I don't know. Where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Back of Mount Glorious. Out the back of Mount Glorious. Coming down looking for some snakes. Spotted this nice little eastern beauty cruising across the road. It is hot, eh? Have a go at the size of this olive python. We've done a quick pit stop to a mate's place in Brisbane on our way up north. And he's got quite the collection. This guy here is Gavin, the Parenti. Look at the size of him. I reckon this is the heaviest Australian snake I've ever dealt with. It's like as thick as my leg. Like, 
<laughs> oh, I can't even hold her up. <laughs> Have a go at that thing. I got a couple of hatchlings of these at home, and they're like 60 centimeters, 70 centimeters. This is what they're gonna grow into. These are the second largest Australian snake, but they're definitely the thickest. We are thick. That is. Wouldn't like to cop a bite to the face. Like. Yeah, put it over here. Oh. <laughs> Arm day. Oh my god. <laughs> like, start doing squats with yeah. this thing. Oh. <laughs> Coastal type in. This is a big female. Is she usually cranky? Well, she's not too bad. Oh, I doesn't try to bite on face, but she will bite her. She will bite me. So my mate here is a Taipan enthusiast. And he has 16 of these? 14. 14. Oh, <gasps> Try to dust me on the foot. Did it actually? No. Oh. Just as I moved the camera. Oh, did you, didn't you get it? Oh, I don't know, maybe. Maybe. She oh. wasn't trying to bite, she was just moving quick. I don't think if she was trying to bite me, I'd know about oh, it. I think I missed it. She's not trying to bite. She's not super. Like, no, she's capable like some of these other red ones. But she's a beautiful snake. A big jack and she is. 2.25, I think. Yeah, she's a decent sized snake. These are the the longest venomous snake we have here in Australia. Um, apparently, there's a recorded ones over three meters in length. So if you add another meter onto this, you got a bloody big venomous snake. And I think these are the. I don't know about, there's a new type in, in there, but I'm pretty sure these are now number four. Number four, most venomous snake in the world. And if she bit me, it would not be in a very good way, I don't think. <laughs> She's got nice like little speckles on her head, eh? Like mm -hmm. real faint. She's very well behaved. Keeps well behaved, eh? It's not carrying on. No, nah, she's not carrying on at all. Eastern brown snake. Second most venomous snake on the planet. Louder. Yeah, say louder. Oh, we got the lawnmower going in the background, yeah. so. So, yeah, you can't really hear much, but this is a big male Eastern brown. Um, it's about five and a half foot. It is quite a good looking snake. No way. He sort of wants to have a go at me. But he's not being too bad. He's not really throwing much. Yeah, I want him to S up a bit, but he's not doing it eh? He's got a heaps nice head on him. So this guy here is a speckled brown snake. And he is... Oh. He's in the same, same family as that eastern brown we had out before. But, um, a lot smaller species, they're restricted to the black soil plains out in central Queensland. And um, these things are tough as nails, they can go like a year without food, no worries. And then once it floods out there, 
and you get a bit of water, a bit of rain, it brings all the food out, these guys come out and they just gorge themselves because you never know when they're next going to get a meal. An extremely toxic species. Um, I don't know where they rank, but they're a brown snake and any brown snake is extremely toxic, but you can see it's a very well-natured snake. Um, all the ones I've dealt with have always been pretty well-natured, even in the wild. Just don't seem to have that same brown snake attitude. But you can see those beautiful markings. Don't want him to bite me. Wouldn't be ideal, but he's not. Well, I hope he's not. I might just keep his head off me. They come in a, a, a variety of colours and patterns as most brown snakes do. This is the banded form. It's that beautiful overall creamy colour and then chocolate, dark chocolate bands. They've got, got nice belly, the ventral scales. Typical brown snake, always got those orange spots. And a real little head on him. And that little head would just be for poking into the, the cracks in the soil. So out where these guys live, they're sort of vast plains with literally nothing. It's just it's just flat with black soil and, and like Mitchell grass, like a species of grass. And the um, it floods out there and then once it dries up the soil cracks and these guys just live in those cracks but they spend a fair chunk of their time underground um, just basically, I don't know, dormant. They don't really do a great deal because there's nothing to do. There's nothing to eat out there and they just wait for the rain. They wait for the floods to come down and the floods just force everything out of those soil cracks and they just come out in plague numbers and they just eat. Right, so this is Mark. Mark's a, case, Mark's a coastal type in, and I think he's my favourite type in I've ever met. I don't know how well we can see that head through the thing, but he's constantly flaring that head. You can see that the rear of his jaw muscles are flared out and he's just tilting it. And that is a sign of defensive posture, which is not really ideal. It's a bit, it's basically, yeah, defensive behavior, but he's always doing it. You can see just constantly with that head tilt. And look at him in the sun. Look at those colors. Look how red he is. Red with that pale head. This is extremely, it's probably a little bit dangerous, but it's all right. Me and Mark, I've been holding him for a bit now. We've sort of become mates. He was a bit grumpy to start with, but we're pulling through. And we've got a little something going on here. You just got that effect, Have a look at his you? head. Oh my God, just... Me? So close. How? <laughs> See, you move it. I wonder if you'll try and bite there. How to lose a hand. What a sock. I reckon he must be cold. He's, he's, he's sniffed it too. Eat it. What are you doing? He's never done that before in his life. Oh, f I was going to say he's going to bite my hand. I got my sleep stand, Derek. I get another one. There we go. Hey. What? Yeah, now.